hi in this tutorial i'll i'll show you how to add a filter to the existing report to filter the results of your analysis uh, there is a small difference between uh, filters and a prompt a filter filter will uh, if you apply a filter on the analysis it will filter the data and it will show you the results whereas in case of prompt what it will uh, it will ask the user to select a particular uh, value so that that value will get passed to the analysis and then results will get filtered whereas in case of normal filters uh, it will just filter the data with the condition whatever we have given so uh, maybe if I show you the re uh, real example of it you will understand it in better way so for now we will I'll show you how to create a filter so now we have one report already created so I'm opening the report so this is the report uh, let's say edit this uh, report so this report will this is displaying uh, the revenue by year brand and organization let's say if I want for a particular organization let's say for franchises organization what is the revenue for each year by brand then what I can do is I can simply uh, apply a filter as organization uh, organization as franchise organization so go to the criteria tab so if you see there is a settings button here if you click on that you can see an option called filter so just click on the filter and here in the uh, operator place uh, you can select multiple options so here in in the filter only there is an option called is prompted this uh, uh, first before going to this uh, let me explain you the other operators that are available so is equal to is nothing but uh, let's say if you want to filter a particular organization so you can use this function now let's say if I want only franchise organization you can select that value click on ok so that uh, the, your results will be displayed for only that organization so this is operator is equal to so whereas uh, here in this example uh, we have we have uh, a we have text format so if it is a numeric value then you can use uh, less than greater than or less than equal to greater than equal to or uh, is between let's say if you have uh, null values then you can select rather than uh, say uh, saying is equal to as null here because it it doesn't work in that way here null will be treated as text so here you can use this option is null so then you will be not prompted with any of the options here because null is itself is a uh, small keyword here which will display the null value so you can use this option or not null so is ranked last is ranked first contains all contains any like some other some other options so now uh, is prompted so so if you see now let's say is equal to uh, let let's say I'm selecting franchises organization now you can see in this for the organization filter I have given a text as franchise organization here let's say dynamically you, uh, if your uh, organization changes let's say if you want to see another another organization details then uh, if you apply a filter you cannot see that so when you display this report in the dashboard so first of all we will we will select the filter value oh, sorry we will select we will edit the filter by using the is prompted operator so when you click on the is, op is prompted operator when you save this so when you place this report see let's say now I am just viewing the results here so here you won't see any difference because we have just given is prompted but when you use this report 
in the dashboard if you want to filter a particular organization first of all your analysis should be analysis filter should be given as is prompted then only your analysis prompt will uh, will work so that is one point which you can note uh, and this is one way of uh, giving the filters another way is you can always save this uh, filter let's say if you want to use this filter uh, to apply into multiple rep reports still you can use it let's say this is organization filter or filter so now let's say if you, ha you have created another let's create another report and apply the same filter which uh, which is being given in this report so i'll create one more analysis sample light now in this report i'll just uh, fetch organization and uh, revenue let's say now i won't create any any other filters instead i'll refer the existing filter which is already there so to refer that first you need to know the exact location where you have stored so i guess i have stored in i have stored in my folders subject area contents under sample lights i have given organize org filter so now just click on that and use the push button here so here you can see you can just click on ok so that here you can see organization filter or filter is applied to this report so this is another way of giving so this is nothing but what we can call it all this filter as uh, saved filter we'll call it as saved filter so now let's save this analysis as org by revenue now if you see this both reports are using the same filter but one with the normal filter one with the this is with the normal filter the other one is with the saved filter